Now that you know a little bit more about variable types and data formats in Stata, your next question is probably how you can input data into the software. Well, there are several ways that you can use to do this, but in this video, I will show you how you can do this manually. Let's open the data editor using the command edit right here. Or, let me close this. We can also use this shortcut over here. And before we go on, just make sure you download the three files we have for this lesson, which are all named country, underscore small, one is an Excel file, the other one is a CSV, it has a CSV ending, and a TXT. So just download all these, and let me open them so you can see. CSV, which is a separated by commas and a txt. So they're all the same information, just in different file types. Now let's go back to the data editor. And the first thing we want to do is just input this data manually. It's going to be just a lot of work, but I want to show you how it works. So you can do it just like you were working in a regular spreadsheet editor, like, uh, like Excel. So the first country name is Argentina. Second country name is Australia. And we keep going like that until we have input all the values. And here we are. So everything is here, but note that the variable names are not the correct names. Every time you input some data, state is going to create a variable and name it var1, var2, var3, and so on. So the first name, uh, the first variable name is going to be country. So we can come here to the properties window on the bottom right hand side and change var1 for country to do it manually. Or if you prefer, you can go back to the main Stata window and you'll see that Stata uses the command rename, the name of the variable you have and the name you want to change it to. So in the second one, we could use the command rename, var name, var to name it in speak. Press enter and note that your variable name has changed over here and also over here in the data editor. So we can just keep going like that until we have changed every name of each variable. So we go back to the data editor and here we are. We have input all the data manually, which is certainly not a, uh, an effective way of doing this. So why don't we clear status memory? Let's close edit and clear all. And now let's try to copy and paste these values from the value from the files that I just showed you, the Excel file, the CSV file, and the TXT file. To do that, come back here into Excel, select everything you want, copy it into the data editor. Let's access the data editor and just press Control V or paste as you wish. And Stata is going to ask you when you you're pasting some data. Is the first row data or variable names? So we have variable names. Let's see. The first row is variable names. So we come back here and we say tree first row as variable names. And here we are. This everything is done here. Uh, we have a missing data here. Well, everything is how it should be. Let's try doing the same from a TXT file. Let's close. Let's close our CSV file. Don't save clear state of me status memory. And now we're going to open our TXD file. Once again, select everything. You can also press control A if you want. Control C to copy. Open the data editor and press control V. Same question, same answer. Treat, treat first row as variable names and here we are. So we just copied and pasted and paste from a TXD file. And last but not least, let's try clear all to clear the memory. And let's try copying and pasting from a CSV file. So we select everything here. See, this is comma separated values. So we have commas separating each of the values. We copy everything. And now we paste into Stata and see what happens. Tree first row as variable names. And we have a problem here. Since everything is separated only by a comma, Stata 
recognizes each line as a single column. So there is certainly a more effective way of importing data from CSV, Excel, and other types of files. And that's what I'm gonna show you in our next video.